Hey guys, today we're making easy oven roasted potatoes and chicken. An easy and fantastic dinner idea you'll absolutely love. I'm using chicken drumsticks today that have already been washed and cleaned. To season them, I'm using this flavored by Genergy baked and grilled chicken spice blend. This blend is fantastic and has no salt or MSG. So for every pound of chicken, I use one to one and a half tablespoons of the seasoning and roughly three quarter teaspoon of salt. Now you can use between one to two tablespoons of the spice blend or even more or less depending on how flavorful you want your chicken. I'm also adding one tablespoon of avocado oil to the chicken drumsticks as well. So I'm going to mix this up properly using my hands as it's just for us at home. But of course you can use gloves if you do prefer, prefer that. Once everything is all mixed together, I'm going to set it aside to marinate for a few hours. The longer you let it marinate for, the better, the more flavorful it will be. For the potatoes, I'm using these regular potatoes that have already been washed. I tend to scrub them just to make sure the skin is nice and clean because I leave the skin on. And then I'm just going to cut them into cubes. To season them, I'm using the Flavored by Genergy Roasted Potato Spice Blend which again contains no salt or MSG. So for every pound of potatoes, I use one tablespoon of the seasoning and about a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm also using one to two tablespoons of the avocado oil. I use two tablespoons to be exact, but you can use more or less. Mix everything up properly and now it's time to bake. So of course, if you want more of the flavor of the spice blend in the potatoes, you can add more of the roasted potato seasoning. Onto a grease baking tray, I'm going to be adding both the potatoes and the chicken. Into the oven it goes and I'm baking it at 420 degrees for roughly 45 minutes. But this can vary depending on the size of your chicken of course and the potatoes. Halfway through baking, I'm going to flip the chicken drumsticks. Usually I don't uh, flip the potato pieces. But you can do that if you want to have done it bake through the entire time without having to flip it and it always cooks nicely on the outside without any one side burning or getting too dark. While the potatoes and the chicken are in the oven, let's work on the sauce that I personally love. In a food processor, I'm just adding some culantro or charabeni, some garlic, some hot pepper, it's basically like a sort of green seasoning. And once everything is nicely processed, I'm adding it to the bowl along with some salt, some chili flakes, you can add some black pepper, avocado oil, and a tiny bit of apple cider vinegar. To be honest, I forgot to take note of the exact measurements, but you can experiment with it and have fun. It's just basically the green seasoning with the oil, apple cider vinegar, the chili flakes. Now onto our plate, the potatoes go. I also steam some broccoli to have with this meal, and then we add in the chicken. Mouth watering so far, I must admit, but the best part is when this sauce is drizzled over that chicken and the potatoes. And now our easy dinner is finished and ready to be eaten. So you guys have to try this out. You need to get your hands on the Flavored by Genergy Spice Blends and try out this meal. Send me photos when you do try it out. I will be sure to list the retailers at supermarkets in Trinidad that currently carry the line. Uh, flavored by Genergy line. This is only available in Trinidad right now. So you guys look out for the listing in the caption or the description box for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and give this meal a try out for dinner or for lunch. Thanks so much as always for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.